If you need to wire up some door lock actuators or add some actuators into your vehicle, and you're not really a big fan of using relays, or if you only wanted to just add, say, one door lock actuator really super quick, and you don't have an existing alarm system that you want to tie into, if you don't want to utilize or make use of any kind of relays in any kind of way, or if you just don't like to wire relays, that's okay too. We have these things which are called five wire power window switches. You can see that this one here is, is a SPAL style, has a window icon. They also make these with little up and down arrows for um, you know lock and unlock, which are universal, and they're five wire, also illuminated, which I'll show you really quick. On the back, you got five wires. Real quick, this is how they wire up. The red is going to be your power, positive 12 volts, and then you're going to have your two browns, which are going to go to straight ground. And then your outputs are going to be reversing polarity. So when you hit it this way, your green is going to throw 12 volts and your blue is going to throw ground. And when you flip the switch in the opposite direction, blue is going to be 12 volts, green will go to ground. So it's always showing positive, negative, positive, negative, which is what these types of actuators need to do their job. So how it's done is like this. Not to sound redundant, but this is a how-to video, so we'll just show you. Middle conductor, like I said, positive 12 volts. The two browns. And these are common standard wire switch, wires, colors for these types of switches, by the way. The two browns, constant 12 volts. Now, when I've done that, you see that the switch is illuminated. Light off. See that? So there you go. Now if you were using this with a door lock kit, I would recommend that you use a non-illuminated switch because of course you don't want to drain on your battery. But this here for this application will work great for windows. But if this was the same switch without the illumination or if you just took the light out, this would be perfect for just doing door lock actuators. Now like I mentioned, you have these two, which are going to rest at ground, just as a reference, not that it really matters. But I'm a technical guy, so I talk technical stuff. Just gonna take these two wires, and you can see blue and blue and green, common colors, the door lock actuator. So you can see it's all kind of like everything color to color. Once you get going doing this kind of stuff, you'll, you'll notice this kind of thing over and over again. So switch is wired up, power on ground. There you go. Now, real quick, these switches are rated for 20 amps. See that? 12 volts, 20 amps. That's a lot of power. So this will run easily as many actuators as you could ever want to throw on it. And that's the way it's done. Simple. Five wire switch. Get your actuators. Simple. No relays needed. Easy.